Before we get started, the deck that we'll use this semester will be Ethernet based. You should be able to access them as long as you're logged into the campus network. Each deck has the IP address printed on its front. Before attempting to connect, make sure that you can physically see your DAC. Uh, you should check to see that the DAC is connected by the green and yellow LEDs. Uh, then to get started, you'll want to go to the Measurement and Automation Explorer. This is a program uh, that you can find by typing in Max. Uh, Whenever you connect to hardware, it's always a good idea to run Macs to make sure that your devices are connected, be it an Ethernet DAC or a webcam or anything else. Now, I've already connected to the hardware from my profile, so I'll show you the steps even though your screen might be a little different than what I show you here. On the right side of Macs, you should select Network Devices. You don't have to connect the DAC directly to your computer or your wife's appliance. From the Add Network drop, uh, Device drop-down menu, select Find Network DAC MX Devices. This will bring up a brand new window with, uh, with all the available devices that are on the network. Now, in all likelihood, you'll not have any available devices at this point. Uh, you, what you'll have to do is manually enter the IP address that you found on the front of the DAC device here. It might take a little while the first time, but the vice should show up. Um, exit out the window once it does. Then, from the drop-down menu of the network devices, this time you should see your newly added device there. Click it to see that your device is free and can be reserved uh, for you and by you. Now, the other hardware uh, setup, other than the DAC, each station should have a DAC, an amplifier, a heart sound monitor, or a microphone, and a three lead electrode set used for ECG acquisition. Just a little terminology, one of the uh, wire connector types that you'll use this semester is called a BNC connector. It's a quarter turn locking connector. Uh, one of the most common hardware problems that I've found are disconnected wire, be it a BNC connector or otherwise. Uh, if you're having issues, uh, not getting what you expect, check all your connections. You should get in the habit of checking all connections whenever you get into the lab. Don't assume that the hardware is set up correctly or completely. For this first lab, we'll need two analog inputs. You'll use the two inputs on an NI9215 with BNC connectors. That's part of that Ethernet chassis that you uh, just connected to your computer. It should be the left DAC device. Uh, one analog input for the heart sound monitor, the other for the ECG. These two analog inputs will digitize your signal uh, coming from an amplifier. Okay, on the back side of an amplifier, you'll find two analog voltage output lines. These two voltage output lines will carry the amplified signal from a heart sound monitor and an ECG to the DAC input channel for analog to digital conversion. The two inputs uh, in the back of the amp will receive the heart sound monitor and the ECG three electrode leads. Hopefully this video will give you a head start. Make sure you read through the lab manual or wiki moving forward from this initial setup. 